when using Excel, sometimes we prefer an easy way to manage a large table of data, and we would like to show some specific information for review and print. For example, in this table, we would like to know how many students and who would like to go to dining hall A. To figure it out, first of all, click any cell in this table, and then go to the Data tab, click on this filter icon. And now we can see a filter has been created at the top of each column in this table. And we can select this column and choose from this list the option that we want. Such selection can filter the data out. As we can see, after selecting the Danny Hall A option, the table only shows the students who choose to go to Danny Hall A, and the other rows have been hidden. We can tell that from the row numbers. We can also use multiple columns and filter out the data we just want to see. For instance, if we want to know the list of students who would like to go to Danny Hall A and select the meal plan option C, we can just click this filter icon and select the option C. Here is the updated table showing the students who would like to go to dining hall A to have the meal plan option C. The next question is what we should do if we do not want the filter shown anymore. First, we can go to the data tab and just click on this clear icon. And now we can see the whole table without any specific selections is back. And if we want these filter icons at the top of each column to disappear, we just need to go to the data tab again, click on this filter icon, and it means unselect. As you can see, the filter in each column disappears. So to summarize, the filter is a great way to manage the large lists of data.